Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create PVC P trap Revit family can variable direction. In this video, I will create two part of family, elbow and main family, and then load and combine into main family. And I will refer those dimension in the picture to create the parameter. This is lookup table, CSV file. Its data are referred from the manufacturer specifications. I will use this lookup table, CSV file, to create the parametric family. There are DN40 to DN100. I will use this formula for default do not found. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Before go to family creation, let's see how the system default family is worked in the project. Open a new project. Select the mechanical template and open it. Insert a section. Right click on section and go to view. Go to system and draw a pipe. Go to edit type and select the PVC pipe segment. Click apply and OK. Draw pipe segment diameter 40 mm to 100 mm. Insert and load system default PVC P trap family. Go to system and select pipe fitting. Place PVC P trap family to all pipe segment. Go to level 1. Select the family. Set the slope and draw the pipe. Select the family and check in 3D view. This is how system default family work in project. The system default family is fixed direction. Sometime in project site, due to space constraint. If we have to play P-trap elbow direction, but system default family are unable to play the direction. Okay. Let's start the family creation. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select pipe fitting for family category and select multi port for part type. Set and select the class number. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for CE. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for SL. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to CE. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and add parameter for POD. Finish the sweep. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. 
Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and add parameter for SOD. Select the circle and mirror to right side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to family type. Click on manage lookup table. Import the CSV file. And click OK. Add a new parameter for lookup table. Select text for type and select other for group. And click OK. Add parameter value for lookup table. The value is CSV file name. Add a new parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Set 100 mm value of pipe size for default. Click apply and OK. Go to family type. Add formula for CE parameters. And click apply. Add formula for POD parameters. And click apply. Add formula for SL parameters. And click apply. Add formula for SOD parameters. And click apply. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. Click apply and OK. Join the geometry with each other. Go to left view. Go to create and select the reference line. Create a reference line and lock to reference plane. Insert angle dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for direction angle. Select instance and click OK. Select the line and mirror to right side. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Go to family type. Check and play the direction angle parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to reference level. Select the reference line. Edit work plane and pick up new work plane. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. To create P-trap elbow family. Open the new family. Select the generic model line base and open it. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for CE. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for SL. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert radius dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to CE. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and add parameter for POD. Finish the sweep. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and add parameter for SOD. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Join the geometry with each other. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for length parameter. Click apply and OK. 
Check in 3D view. Go to visibility graphic override. Shortcut is VG. Off dimension and reference line. Save the family. Insert and load this created family into main family. Go to left view. Find the loaded family in project browser. Place to the reference line and lock to the reference plane. Go to reference level. Select the family. Edit work plane and pick up work plane. Go to left view. Go to family type. Check and play the direction angle parameter. Click apply and OK. Select the family. Associate the material parameter. Associate CE parameter. Associate POD parameter. Associate SL parameter to SL. Associate SOD parameter to SOD. Check in 3D view. Go to visibility graphic override. Shortcut is VG. Off dimension and reference line. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on socket face. Select connector and associate the diameter to nominal diameter parameter. Select fitting for system classification. Go to family type. Check and play the parameter. Click apply and OK. Save the family. Let test this family in project. Insert and load this created family into project. Go to level 1. Right click on section and go to view. Copy the existing pipes. Go to system and select pipe fitting. Place P-trap family to all pipes. Check in 3D view. Select the family and check and play the direction parameter. Back to level 1 and draw the pipes. Check in 3D view. OK, PVC P-Trap family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.